welcome back to the Hardcore Pub, everybody. I, it's a new year. Everybody's got their resolutions. Uh, I got some things wrong last year. I had a lot of people send me some beers, and I didn't get them reviewed in a prompt manner. So what I've done, I've just gone through my beer fridge. I've gone through all my beer mail videos. I wrote down who gave me what. And I'm going to start knocking those out. I'm going to start 2022 uh, reviewing the beers that people were so generous enough to send to me. Because I should have got it done last year. It's just sometimes life gets in the way and these things happen. So I apologize to you. If you sent me beer, I did not forget about you. I have a list and I'm going to start knocking it out. And right now, going back to Wayne Allen. He did send me two separate beer males, so I've got them all listed. Uh, I'm going to do this one first. This one's called Constant Motion. This is from Flying, Fri Flying Fish Brewing Company. It's a coffee India Pale Ale. I've never had a coffee India Pale Ale. I love coffee beers, love porters and stouts. I love IPAs. This Is this the best of both worlds in one can? Well, I'm going to find out. It's a banger coming in at 7.5% alcohol. It's one pint. Let's see what it says on the can here. Uh, this is from uh, Flying Fish Brewing Company in Somerdale, New Jersey. And it says, Constant Motion Coffee IPA. Like our caffeinated pals over at Revolution Coffee Roasters, nonstop innovation keeps our wheels turning and our fish wings flapping. We put our collective brews, beans, and brains together to bring you Constant Motion, a wonderfully complex coffee IPA. Copious amounts of tropical citra, mosaic, and azaka hops are enhanced by bright berry notes and a smooth caramel finish from Revolution's masterfully balanced house cold brew. So, that sounds like something I've never had before, so I want to get into it. It's an IPA. But it's got coffee in it. What kind of glass am I going to use for that? You know what? I got so many glasses. I got. I got to fix that. I got. I got to get a better. Got to get a better glass holder. Dealy Whopper. Hmm. I was half expecting it to be a little bit darker than that, since it's uh, coffee. But hello, Tiger. I guess he's got a New Year's resolution too. He wants to spend more time on camera now. That's okay. As long as he's not blocking my shot. Alright, so it's an IPA, and I did say 7.5% alcohol. I did not see a mention of IBUs on here. It's not there. But that's okay. We'll figure that out. We'll figure out if it's bitter or not. Hmm. Not really smelling any coffee. It also doesn't smell like an IPA to me. Mm. But it does smell good. And I'm parched. I gotta get some of this in me. Cheers. Nice. Okay, so the aroma, I didn't get coffee, I didn't get IPA. From the first sip, you saw, I, I, I am, I'm parched. I, I, I put it up and I took like four or five swallows in a row. It's all IPA in the mouth. Delicious IPA. After you swallow it, then here it comes up the back of your throat. Here comes the coffee. What a nice finish. What a nice finish for this beer. Um, Wow, it's fantastic. It's not looking super carbonated. Um, minuscule amounts of bubbles coming up, but let's see what it feels like on my tongue. Yeah, it's biting at my tongue. It's got that carbonation. So why beers can be deceiving in a number of ways. The alcohol. There can be high ABV beers and you drink it and it's well hidden. You don't taste the, the alcohol. Those beers can get you into trouble. You might drink too many of them. There's other beers where the alcohol is not hidden at all. And a matter of fact, 
the main flavor that you get when you drink it is the alcohol. Those are some potent ones. Um, likewise with carbonation. I've seen beers that looked super carbonated. There was tons of bubbles coming up, but they felt flat in my mouth. Then there's beers like this that don't look to be super carbonated, but yet they feel, you can feel it on your tongue when you're drinking it. You can feel the carbonation bite. So this is going to be a thumbs up. I did not buy it. This was gifted to me from Wayne Allen. Um, thank you, Wayne, for sending it. This is a, a brand new style for me, a coffee India Pale Ale. Um, I don't know why more breweries aren't making them. Or maybe they are, and I've just never seen any. Um, I like it. Like I say, it's IPA in the mouth with a coffee coming up the back of your throat aftertaste that is a great complement to the IPA flavor. So, I love it. I would definitely buy this again, even though I didn't buy the first one. It's got some awesome, awesome uh, can art on it. Brewed with co Revolution Coffee Roasters. I assume that they're in... Uh, New Jersey as well. I'm just, oh, when I poured that, the, uh, I'm going to assume the coffee, there was a, you know how you get to the bottom of the coffee pot and uh, sometimes the, the grinds will make their way into your cup? That's what it looked like. When I poured that last bit in there, there was a lot of sediment and it was dark sediment. Looked to be like coffee grinds in it. Hey, that's okay. I say it a million times. I do not mind a chunky beer. I don't mind chewing on my beer. It's all good. But this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a beer you want to guzzle. Way too much flavor for that. Way too much flavor for that. 7.5% alcohol, it's going to get you there. You don't need, you don't need to drink six of these. It's going to do the magic. That's how I keep my slim physique. I just don't drink 12 or 18 beers at a sitting anymore. All you people that drink those diet beers thinking you're doing yourself a favor. Are you really doing yourself a favor if you drink a 100 calorie beer, but you drink 12 of them? You've just consumed 1,200 calories. You could drink a beer like this. You'd need just one or two to get the same result from those 12. I guarantee it, 7.5% alcohol. Way more flavor. You're not going to slam it. You're just going to sip them. You're going to consume, ultimately, way fewer calories drinking the full flavored ones. So that's my, that's my take on diet beers. If you're drinking them to lose weight, it ain't working. It ain't working. Um, if you're drinking the beer because you don't like beer flavor, diet beers are the way to go. I love beer flavor. I like potent beer flavor. I like obnoxious beer flavor. So I love these. They're sippers. You don't want to slam them. Sip on them. Enjoy them. Savor them. Because they are that good. So thanks for stopping by. And thank you, Wayne Allen, for sending this to me. I do appreciate it. I'm going to get the rest because he sent me a ton of beers. I got a lot of beers I got to review for Wayne Allen. So thank you. And I will see you all next time. Till then. Yeah.